Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Zombie Days. So, if you guys hear the noise in the background, I apologize. My parents are watching, I think, Green Arrow or something, and yeah, the noise is super loud. Um, it just ruined one of my recordings, and unfortunately, I have to get this recording done. Usually, I record three episodes, and that's it, uh, or the three of the episodes of the week on one day, but I'm only going to be able to record this episode, and then tomorrow, hopefully, the sound is lower from their side, and I'll be able to record the rest. Now, um, I made myself those kill 10 zombies quests, and yeah, we're at this place. We're going to try and see if we can clear this place. Um, I made 50 of those kill 10 zombie stuff, so we're going to get 50 crates if you're lucky. But guys, I really hope there's no bosses over here. Because at the moment, we don't have binding helmet lights, nothing, so it's very, very dark. Uh, we have this bike. Just put the bike. I want to be able to run away if I really needed to. Okay, so we have 12 shots in this one. Let me just show you guys this. 12 shots in this one, 6... No, 135 shots with this one. This one, 13 shots. This one, 7 shots. And then we also have armor piercing rounds for this one. But I first want to make sure we use up all the ammo over here. What if I shouldn't do this? So all three guns have their own ammos in them now. The thing is, so far, every time we've uh, encountered one of these places, there's been a boss. I have no idea whether there's going to be a boss with this one as well. Hopefully not. With a noise, white noise zombie over there, I didn't even see the notification that it takes away range damage. So basically, you do less damage and you don't even realize it. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually fire the shot and see what boss appears. But I'm also going to do this. I'm going to prepare to stack up. Okay, I uh, wonder if I can actually quickly do this. And this. If I can more or less just get an, a gauge of what kind of zombies in there. It doesn't say anything else. Well, then again, I can't really see any other zombies over here. Just these weak ones. Um, okay, I'm just going to kill. I'm just going to shoot whatever appears appears. I have no idea whether there's a boss sleeping over there. Because so far, we've had so many bosses. I wonder if I can actually kill him with this. If I can pick off all the weak zombies with bow and arrow and then just use my guns for the tough zombies, that would be awesome. Oh, please give me my ammo back. He's going to come all the way back. Um, No, 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 no. Did not know where he was going, so I didn't want to take a chance. Okay, so if I can kill all the sleepers like this and then if there's a boss, only focus on the boss, that would be cool. So far, we've had to focus on the boss and other zombies and it's just too much, too many zombies. It's a crawl over there. Guys, I'm so afraid of bosses right now. So far, the bosses have basically kicked our butts. I think we've we've survived pretty, pretty well. I, I'm going to shoot this one just to test if there's a zombie coming. And yeah, the zombies from next door might show up. So let's just hope that's not the case. I just fired a shot and nothing happened. I wonder if I go in over here. Uh, didn't want to take a chance. Okay, so far I don't see any bosses, which is good. I'm gonna try and get as many hit shots with this thing as possible. Because I only have that many shots. So this is the first house we've actually encountered in this place that didn't have any boss zombies. So that's awesome. Guppy zombie. Damn, aiming down the sides drained my stamina so much. There might still be a boss zombie in there, who knows? I'm just gonna get my stamina back before we attempt it. Hello? Hello? I need to actually make sure that we take all the stuff from these uh, farms. Because there are quests that require us to actually have a ton of chrysanthemums and stuff like that. So if I can start doing those quests in the background, that'd be kind of cool. Sandbags, pick up. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but let's just pick them up. Unfortunately, you have to use melee to open or to get all of the plants over here. Can't pick them up. There's bound to be a zombie or two over there. Okay, so I just need to be careful because you have to climb this, it seems. So if I get stuck on one of these trying to run away, I'm dead. 
Ooh, no shots left. Okay, so since we don't have any shots left, let's do this. I'm gonna make sure this one also has six shots. So we'll have 12 shots to fight with and then try and get away. Damn, this is part of the house. I did not think that this was gonna be like one POI. Just wanna do this. See a few zombies sleeping there. Only problem now is we can't even use this trick because uh, the zombies will jump over. With a doorway like this, we can use that trick, but on the other way, we can't. And what bothers me is the hearing of these zombies. They hear so well. Okay, so that was a bit. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can loot the zombies. Except the guppies, right? You can't loot the guppies. Uh, corpses. No corpses. Technically, I could just quickly do this as well because we need these plants and you get XP for doing them. But I need to jump over, it seems. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuck every time. So this whole place is designed to actually waste your stamina. Because every time you want to get on top of others, you need to jump. This is what? That's mushrooms. Pumpkin. I always say I want to make a farm and I never get to it. Like even in my Darkest Full series right now, next to our base. I, well, then again, we've been looting the past few episodes. I really need to start making myself a base. A proper, proper base. Okay, now, I have no idea whether there's going to be boss zombies upstairs, but I hope not. Uh, we have 457 or something cement blocks, guys, from doing all those quests. Uh, for those of you wondering, you can make papers and then you can kill 10 zombies. You can read as many of them as you want at a time. And yeah, as soon as you uh, complete it, you have to go hand them into the trader and then you're super rich. With quests, that is. I should probably keep my best guns at, ha at the hand just in case there's a ton of bosses. So if I get stuck over here with a boss or two, that's going to suck. The only problem is we need light. It's day three and only on day four there's a trader reset. And then even then, there's no guarantee that the trader is actually going to have um, something you need. Because we desperately need some light source. I don't want to carry around. I wonder if I can actually put a flashlight on my gun. But basically, I don't want to carry around my um, torches and then drop them while I'm facing zombies. Because while you're facing a zombie, you can't afford to drop torches. And while you're looting places like this. And you're going to start getting torches as well. That's on this side. Hello, crawler. There's no sleepers out here, right? I need to make sure that when I go around this place, there's nothing that can harm me. I'm trying to crouch as much as possible because so far we've had so many bosses just in this small stretch of land. So just this place alone has given us like two bosses. Uh, yeah, two, is it? For some reason I'm thinking it's more, but yeah, it's insane. The amount of bosses we face so far and could potentially still face if I'm not careful. Please don't spawn in too late. You know, there's either going to be zombies in the roof. That one's spawning late. Please don't tell me there's something in the roof. The only way to tell is by firing a shot and then running away. If we see something fall out the roof, we just run. Ooh, my aiming's bad. Okay, now we just run around. It just feels like something's supposed to fall out the roof. I don't know why I'm being so paranoid, but it really does feel like... Oh. Okay, so we can go to the trader now. We've uh, killed 10 zombies times 50 quests. So we're going to get 50 crates and hopefully get some ammo and guns and stuff as well. And guys, you can actually scrap your magnums and these 10 mil guns and get a ton of gun parts and then sell them for way, way more. Um, some people say that I'm, I'm not supposed to do that. But, well, I shouldn't do that. Because later on, you're going to need the gun parts to make uh, pistols and stuff. But at this stage, we have we can get so many guns. Getting pistols or making pistols is not going to be a bother at all. Survival guide? Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Some of these zombies are just not lootable for some reason. And I really do want to loot them. Okay, so far it seems we have looted everything. 
please don't all of a sudden drop a boss or something on me. There's been way too many bosses over here. But basically, if I take these stairs out, I can live on the second level over here. And there's so much space over here. We can place uh, frames and crates and stuff all over and open a few up. I swear, if I open this up and all of a sudden there's another boss. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take over this PUI. Reason being is we have a hundred and well, 450 something uh, wet concrete blocks, right? As soon as I hand this in, with what I'm going to hand in right now, we're going to have so much more. So it's not going to be worth the effort of making this my base and then starting over again. I do want to see where... Th I think there's more town to this area over here. So if we can go and live inside the town, or who knows, perhaps right next door to the trader. That would help us so much in the future. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to hand this into the trader first. We need to make sure we get everything we need. Um, at the moment, we are short on ammo. So hopefully as a reward, we get some 7.62 ammo. All of them finishing at once. For those of you wondering, uh, yeah, we have a ton of... That's technically also a town, but not really. What if I should go live there? Or if I should go live on the top? Either way, well, then this one actually is closer to the trader. I want to live close enough to the trader that we can actually get everything done over here. Okay, we do need to make ourselves a forge and stuff, but we need resources. So if I can buy some from the trader, I'm definitely going to buy it. Uh, it's going to save me time and effort in the future. Okay, so let's see. So we have to accept 50 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Look at my XP go up. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. Okay, we don't even have to count. You can see the chests over here. The sealed crates. Um, Yeah, that's how many I'm accepting right now. With these green notes, for those of you wondering, guys, you do these quests, you get a ton of papers. With these papers, you can make even more harder quests. Uh, for example, after 10 zombies, you have to kill 100, I think. So yeah, that's next up. And okay, now the problem is inventory space. Can I sell this to you? Oh, we can actually, we can scrap it and stuff. Um, since... Oh. oh, we're not in his inventory right now, so we can do what we want. I can eat this. Uh, scrap these. I want to make some space quickly. Thoughts. Oh, I want to get rid of this so badly. Uh, moldy bread we might be able to use later. This we can actually scrap. And then let's just see. Select, select. Thoughts. One more. Okay, we have how many more crates actually supposed to get? Three more crates. So if I quickly drop a few things, we should be able to... Oh, the club I might actually be able to use. Okay, so yeah, that is the last two, right? Now there's one more. Uh, glass. Glass you can actually smelt for uh, sand, so I don't really want to get rid of that one. Seeds, I really, really, really need seeds. Oh, it's a shame we can't reload our guns right now. Because these things, I fired a few shots, so we might be able to clear something over here. But now let's just drop this. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we'll drink one more. We have a ton of food and water, so I don't mind wasting some. Okay. So, my CEO inventory, now you can actually sell stuff to him. This one I never use. No, no, no. I'd use this one, but not this one. So we'll get rid of that one. Uh, anything else that I can actually sell to him? Not as far as I can. Oh, yeah, these red notes, guys. You can sell them for a ton. They're really, really expensive. But you can also later on make some more uh, schematics and stuff with them if you really, really needed to. You can see my brain is fried. Guys... <laughs> What it would, would have been three days of replacing the heating on my uh, solar heating on the pool is now turning to four days. So I'm going to have, I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. Okay. Um, let's just see how much is that going to cost me? 1.3. We have six. Yeah. Why not? Um, we're going to buy about 20 of this one. Uh, 20 of this one. I should have already. I'm not sure if I've been scrapping or gathering at all. It's been a while since I've actually been in the safe, so I have no idea. Wait, what? You don't have enough inventory space. Ooh, okay. Um, Let's get rid of this one. Inventory space cleared. Now we can go. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't even buy anything else from him because I am encumbered. Uh, We do have a bicycle. I wonder what the bicycle actually sells for. I dropped it outside, so now I can't tell. I'm going to scrap this for the leather, and this is triple barrel shotgun. 
Ooh, if I know this, I might be able to make a proper gun. But I wonder, this is this is a sword off, right? This is not really a proper, proper gun. But I'm still going to take it. I want to be able to make myself the best, the best of the yeah, best of guns. Now. So I read this one, make some more space, and what I drop? I dropped other stuff as well, I think. And then this, ooh, I want to open that up so badly. But we don't have the space. I should really stop doing stuff like that. Oh, what I can do. Um, do the paper. Where's the paper? See, this is 100. So uh, this is the veteran challenge. So I can actually make four of this because it takes 10 per. There you go. I just need a little bit more uh, paper, but now we have some space to quickly do this with. What's that noise? It sounds like a sound. I don't know if my headset's bugging out or if there's something on the right side of this. It sounds like a gyrocopter or something. I have no idea. Yeah, there's something out there. There is something out there. Please don't tell me it's something bad. Oh, vultures. That is not good. We are encumbered and there's vultures. Um... Oh crap, I don't have any steroids on me, do I? Look, I should be able to kill them with the guns we have. But, oh no, that's a boss. That is a boss right there. I have no idea whether I'm going to be able to survive this. And you just start killing one at a time, and then that boss is the thing making the noise. It sounds like a gyrocopter for some reason. You just know these guys are a threat. <laughs> too high up as soon as i climb on my bike i'm too slow right now as soon as i climb on my bike this thing's gonna attack right come on come on come on come on come on come on it's attacking Ooh, it's a phoenix something i have no idea where they can fire attacks oh yeah i need to bleed him uh now he is not gonna forgive me and i am way too slow to get away uh, pipe bombs will not work. Do you have any 7.62 ammo? Yeah, I might be able to buy some ammo from him. And that was a big boy vulture. Oh, so this is a massive vulture horde. Like, insanely big vulture horde. Uh, let's see. 7.62 ammo. I don't really have a ton of cash left, so I can't really buy that much. But this... Let's buy about 20. This should do the trick. Okay, so this one we're going to put away, and we're going to grab our AK, armor piercing, did it give up? I don't think it gave up that easily, we need to be careful. It looks invisible, but it's not really. It seems like most of the vultures are just flying past. Did they forget about me and they're leaving, or? Oh wow, this gun is powerful. Oh crap. Run 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 run. Oh no 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 no. Ooh, okay, that's bad. Um water, water, water. Oh yeah. I don't wait, I just lost a ton of HP. Oh he's bad news. He's some serious bad news right now. I wonder if I can shoot through here. Oh I can! Nice! Thank you, trader. Now the other vultures are actually mad that I killed their boss. Ooh, this is bad, guys. This is really, really bad. I was wondering what that buzzing sound was. I actually regret looking. Okay, so this one's out. I actually swapped this one to armor pissing rounds as well. Can I loot this? What is this going to give me? Just bones. And if I skin it? I mean, this is a phoenix. I, was, I thought that because it's a phoenix, it might burn. And, yep, it burned. I need to run, I need to run. My aiming's really, really crap. Uh, next one. Oh, crap. Oh! Ooh, that was way too close to comfort. Hello. Zombie vulture. Small guy, small guy, small guy. Ooh! 
Okay, guys, this is insane. I didn't really think that. I heard buzzing outside. I was like, what the hell am I hearing? And then it turns out there's big boys out here. Vulture boss. And then also that guy. I'm just going to drop the paper. Oh, not the paper. The um, grass. The broken, eh, broken glass. Oh, I can actually make another slot. So I can grab that. See, we're encumbered by eight right now. But why am I all of a sudden faster? It feels like I'm not that encumbered anymore. Although my stamina does run out still. I just hope that was the only boss over here. Otherwise, that's going to suck. Okay, so it seems these guys heard all the commotion. Boom. Boom. And... Boom. Oh, there's more vultures. There's definitely another vulture in, uh, coming in right now. I'm gonna wait until it gets close, and boom. But guys, if that's still, if there's still a vulture that far away, that means there's a ton of vultures still. And they all seem to aggro on me, so that's insane. Now, this gun is fast, but it's not as powerful as I'd like it to be. Man, these noises they make is so creepy. Oh, a level 6 X just now, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, now we need to be careful because there might still be a vulture boss or two over here. Um, yeah, I can't believe I survived that. Especially that... Uh... Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, there's a few behind me. I knew there was going to be more. For some reason, I think it's because of my HP is so low. For those of you who don't know, a lot of people argue with me and say, no, that's not the case. If your stamina, oh no, your HP is low, vultures don't really attack you unless you're turning your back on them. So for example, climbing on a bicycle, driving away, they're almost 100% certain, certainty that they're going to attack you. And it's just when you're on your bike, when you're standing and watching them, all of a sudden they don't really attack you unless you really provoke them. Okay, so there's nothing on the bike. Let me just put all this stuff away. I have so much on me right now. Oh, yeah, we have paper, right? Let's make all the... We're just going to drop that there. Let's make... Oh, the veteran thing's trying to complete. Uh, what can I drop over here? Anything I can stack? I'm going to actually keep this one. Thank you. But yeah, I need to grab the paper because I want to make more veteran papers over here. So we're going to make this veteran. I know killing 100 zombies is way harder than killing 10 zombies at a time. But this one, guys, gives you better rewards. So obviously it's way more worth getting. Wait, can I make 46 of this? Is it one per? Not bad, not bad. But you do need a green paper like this. But I'm going to make all of them. So I'm going to make 50 of these ones. So yeah, we just killed 50 times 10 zombies. Now we're going to kill 50 times that many zombies. Also, where's my wet concrete? I'm, aren't I, uh, wasn't I supposed to get way more? I think with that one, I'm going to do the 10 one. And another vulture. Oh, it can actually fly in if you're not careful. I want to make sure we clear out all these vultures because later on there might be a pain if you're not uh, paying attention to your HP slur. Imagine facing a boss and then having to deal with the vultures. But I was wondering, I thought it might just be the uh, my parents uh, putting the sound too loud or something, but I was I was hearing this buzzing in my ears. Oh wow, that's going to take 92 minutes to complete. I wonder if I shouldn't just do then five normal ones and then the rest the uh, weak ones. Damn, how many of you guys are there? You're just not giving up, are you? I wonder if because I killed a boss, now it's just randomly spawning vultures. That might be an uh, an issue or a thing in the game. Because damn, all of a sudden the vultures just don't stop coming. Okay, so I think instead of that many... Well, I think I just dropped some. Uh, Let's just quickly make some space. What can I drop? What can I drop? Food and water. There you go. I hope I didn't drop anything just now. That would suck. So instead of making that many veterans, let's go for 10 veterans. Uh, no, that's normal one. I want the veteran one. So we're going to make six more of this one. And then we're going to make the rest just the normal citizen, uh, citizen declaration. The more of these we do, guys, the better it's going to be for us because we need these crates. Um, these crates might just have crappy ammo and guns in them. For those of you who don't know, they give you a ton of this and this. 
But you can scrap them for parts and then sell the parts, so it's actually worth it. But now let's just drop these. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't have a ton of space left. These guys just don't give up, do they? Oh yeah, we do need to start doing other quests as well. So the sooner I can get through that, the better. Man, I need space. How many are there right now? Just now there's a boss one. I need to be careful. Oh crap. I hate the way they jump. Like the way they go up and down as they approach you. But yeah, there's definitely more in the vicinity. I don't know if I just angered everyone by killing the boss, but it seems like that's the thing that happened just now. It's like I have a target, a target on my back and they're all coming towards me. Like there's blood in the water and the sharks are ready to pounce. Okay, uh, food and water. We're just going to drop everything that we don't need right now. 451 with concrete blocks. Yeah, that's going to move as well. I can't remember when we get the concrete. Do we get it for completing... The green quests, like these ones over here. Or do we get it for completing these? I could have sworn it's for these. But I didn't get any more of those uh, at all. So I'm not sure right now. Okay, we're going to drop these. That is sandbags. Yeah, resources. Why not? Grab this one. Guns. I'm actually thinking of keeping the pipe bombs. Because if we encounter another one of those uh, white noises. Remember, they disable range damage. Or they reduce range damage. So obviously that's going to be a better way for us to do damage then if range damage is disabled. Okay, we need to make sure we have all the best guns. One, two, three. One, two, three. We have this one, but we don't have 7.62 ammo, so we'll drop it for now. And then mods. This one is for melee usage. So I'm going to put this on this one. I want to make sure that I can do as many shots as possible and I can just fight, fight, fight. Okay, uh, what else? The boxes we need to do. The wheels, miscellaneous. The bike. Remember, guys, we have two bikes. I can't remember if I actually made the other one or not. I could have sought... Oh, yeah, there's one outside, right? So this one over here is the spare. We have two bicycles just in case something happens. So that's going to go there. It sells for nothing, so we can't even try and sell it. And then food and water and medicine, all that stuff comes over here. We do need to keep one or two bandages, though. And I'm actually thinking of keeping a proper first aid kit. I mean, look at when that guy just attacked me, that vulture boss. That could have been seriously bad if I wasn't careful. Now we are going to need a ton more space. Damn. It's amazing how fast you run out of space in this mod. Okay, armor, why not? Uh, this we can actually sell. I should actually make a sell box. We can sell this one. The wheels I'm going to keep for now because we might be able to make another vehicle. What else can we sell? All the stuff we can sell, we're just going to drop it into a spare box somewhere. Sell, 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 sell. Boom. Uh, do we have any more wood? I think I used up all my wood, so I'm going to have to go chop down a tree. But being outside right now is really not recommended. They're going to come through here soon if I'm not careful. I'm just going to load this one because this one fires fast. And instead of having to reload, we're going to do this. And this one as well. Okay, so all of them are on armor piercing rounds. I'm bound to get way more ammo right now when opening up these boxes. Hello, hello, hello. Come on. You guys, I think I need to check my skills or check my uh, character right now. Because I think I have a curse on me. I mean, I get, I'm getting a ton of bones and feathers, so I really should make... Oh, 55 skill points. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The more of these quests you complete, the better you can do. 55 skill points. Okay, that means I'm just going to max out everything. Um, the pistol especially because I want to craft my own. And yeah, I'm going to go for uh, agility because I need the pistol and I need the knife. And then also running gun to be able to run and gun. Do that one. Do that one. Okay, we need treasure hunter, salvage operations and this. But for that we need perception level 5. I want to make sure that all these um, resource gathering ones are maxed out. So the next one we require, perception level 7. Boom, boom, boom. All those are maxed out. Nice. Okay, infiltrate. Lockpicking we should actually also get so it doesn't fail that easily. The malicious expert, that's all explosives are going to be way better. And we need to go for sexual transaurus. That is strength 5, strength 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to go for sexual transaurus. I want to make sure that our inventory is also maxed out. 
uh minus 69 eh? yes and mother load so basically this is going to do more damage to blocks and this is going to give us more resources heavy armor we'll be able to run around uh, the penalty for wearing heavy armor is lowered so get that one thank you shotgun we're not really using the shotgun we're using this one way more for that we need agility 10 uh but it might be worth it parkour we definitely need so now i'm able to jump one block higher this one is all distance and this one is two meters higher that's agility eight so one two three that used way more than i thought max that one out hidden strike that's for sneak damage run and gun we want to max that one out and deep cuts okay guys so now we just need to do way more of these quests and yeah look at this we're maxing out our skills like crazy but i wonder if after maxing these out these will start to appear all of a sudden i think so but these are ones you have to, like, um, learn. You have to uh, go and make something, I think. I'm not sure. This is like a potion station or something. I might be wrong. Um, I don't know this mod, guys, admittedly. So I might completely be wrong. But it, it's leaning to that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three more. And then it's going to be a ton of those. I should actually cancel this and only make a few. We need... Oh, yeah. I forgot to check the trader. Damn. Uh, we need a ton of forged iron. Because I want to make my own workbench. Hmm. Okay, so we don't have that. We do have a ton of iron, so can I make a forge? A forge is really going to come in. I should have actually made a forge so long ago. So we need stone, clay, and leather. I don't think we have clay. We have like one of this. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's all my stone? Do I have it on me? Oh, there's not... Ooh, remember I was like, wait, what? Okay, so that's all my stone. We just need some clay then. Clay should be easy enough to get. We just have to dig around this place a little bit. And then we need duct tape three and three shoreline pipes. So duct tape three. And then just literally a half of that. Thank you. I want to make sure I have everything on me. So as soon as I have the resource, I can just make it. I think it's only 10 of that, right? Yeah, so we just need 60 clay quickly. Um, I think I'm quickly going to place these boxes and break them open and then get you guys back as soon as we're about to open them because, yeah, it's almost nighttime again. We're not going to be able to go to... I wonder if I shouldn't just quickly go sell that to the trader at least. And then we can come back and open up all these boxes over here. Let's just make sure we have nothing else we want to sell to the trader because I keep going there and back and there and back. And there's no need for that. I can just do everything while I'm there. Unfortunately, you can't sell these knives that you get from doing quests. So a few of these are going to be useless. Okay, we have our gun equipped, just in case there's more vultures. Oh yeah, I wanted to check my person, but since we haven't had a vulture yet, I'm guessing all the vultures, part of that horde, are now gone. A phoenix, damn. I thought it was just the boss vultures, the big ones, and then you see that there's actually a phoenix as well. It's a shame that it's invisible, though. I'd really love to see what it looks like. Okay, so that one we have it open. Let's see. I should actually accept a job or two from him as well. Uh, let's see. Do you have forged iron at all? You have steel, but I don't need that. Uh, we have not that many. Let's just quickly do this. Boom. I should actually keep this one for a heated biome, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, all these. Bye bye. So now, do you have anything we might need? Day 4 is going to be awesome because then he uh, has a reset. If he just has a mining helmet, I'm going to buy that. Because we need a light. Although I should be able to make myself... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a shame that's expensive. That's way too expensive. I need a claw hammer and I need a wrench to make a oh, workbench. You, kind, sir. you don't have clay, do you? resources clay no. okay tomorrow. so do you have any jobs goods daily. okay i don't want to do this uh, this thing again so we're gonna go north or east jobs uh, that's very far away that's very far away east yeah let's do a fetch I'm in. cabin 11 I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. well if the price is right i'll do it for anyone Okay, I'm just going to go back to the base and place all of this. Why is there all of a sudden a wolf over there? I mean, free meat, so I shouldn't complain. Remember, I thought that was another vulture. Okay, let's quickly kill this, uh, this wolf then. I 
come straight at me. Thank you. Oh, I destroyed his head. That means I lose out on some meat. Oh, yeah. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to cut away. I'm going to open up all these chests off camera. I'm not opening them up. I'm just going to break them open and then we can loot them all together. Um, I'm also going to quickly have to take down a tree over here because we don't have enough wood to make more chests. We need... Oh, wow. I think my jumping ability now. Uh, but yeah, we need to make ourselves a ton of chests for all the guns we're about to get. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so the last one is open. Before it gets nighttime or gets too dark. Wow. Wow, this thing was close to breaking. Oh uh, yeah, before it gets too dark, I actually quickly uh, paused this, the crafting of more citizenship papers. And crafted five of these storage crates. So now what I want to do... Uh, I mean, I should quickly read these ones. Because with these ones out of the way, I'll be able to just quickly have a little bit more space. And yeah, we're going to have to make space for the little green ones as well. Basically, anything that we don't really need right now, I want to drop. And then we're just going to make space for inventory. Oh, well, in our inventory for just the stuff in those crates. Look at that, guys. The whole floor is loot. At night, uh, during nighttime, I actually want to go exploring. So yeah, the next episode, we're going to be in the dark. I need to make sure that we have enough ammo for that as well. So I'm going to have two of each gun on me. Although this gun's actually way faster. I think this one packs more of a punch, but this one's faster. Just quickly do this, do this. I'm going to drop this stuff for now that I need it for the forge because I am not in a position to make that right now. Well, I can, but it's not going to be right now. So do this. I uh, need more space, need more space. That's just knives. Over here we have chrysanthemum seeds. They're just sort of inventory. That is 20 slots. Okay, no way, that's 10. You have to be inside an inventory or a canister like this to be able to do this. Okay, so just make sure we have a gun on us in case something interferes over here now. But guys, now we are bound to get a little bit more better armor and ammo and stuff. Or guns, weapons. Because remember, we maxed this out. I don't know if there's another skill over here that's going to help us even more. But for now, we should be golden. I'm going to drop all the guns in the same container. Let's do this now before I forget. So all the magnums go there. All these go here. And then ammo, I should actually drop in its own chest as well. I'm going to do this. I want to make sure that when I say drop everything, it drops mostly everything that can go in there. This is going to save us some time and effort later on clearing the inventory. Now all I do is go here and boom. These are going to fill up so fast with 50 crates. I think I'm going to wait until my inventory is full before I sort a little bit more. But this way we're just going to see... We're mostly getting a ton of guns. The nice thing is the, the vehicle parts we're getting, the bicycle handlebars and stuff, we can sell those. We can't sell a bicycle, but we can sell the parts. I'm just loving the fact that we're getting so much ammo. And also, as soon as we scrap all these extra magnums and 10 mil guns, we are going to be set. I also want to go through them and see which ones have the most HP because I want to be able to use those as my main guns. It just makes sense using the ones that have the most HP. Okay, do this, do that. Uh, Wait, was there armor in there in the first place? I can't remember what was the next container on this one. Oh yeah, we're also starting to get level 2 iron armor. Well, that was level 1. I could have sworn I saw level 2. But yeah, that's going to come in handy um, later on. Do this. Okay, the bike. What did I put over here? Nothing. Over here, we can actually put ammo. Guys, we need 7.62 ammo. So hopefully, we get really, really lucky. And get way more of that. Do this. And where can I put the ammo? Over here. We're getting a ton of coffee. So that's going to help with our stamina. Oh yeah, we didn't finish losing this one. Drinks, guns. I think I'm going to spend the night... Well, I want to go looting as well. But I think I, I'm first going to spend the night scrapping all these magnums and... What are these called? 10 mil revolver. I'm going to scrap all of them just to make some space as well. And I'm going to keep the best ones myself so I don't have to repair them. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, I think that's better than what we have already. But yeah, I'm going to scrap most of the stuff and then keep the rest and like i said look at these some of these are almost full in hp so you don't have to repair your crappy used ones but yeah as soon as as soon as that's done i need to go then and explore it okay there should be enough space now for the last bit and oh level two iron mask nice and more scrap boots 
Guys, at the moment we have scrap iron armor, but we need to make sure we have the best armor. So if it's, well, we have level 6 scrap armor. If we can get a level 2 iron armor that's better than a scrap level 6, I'm going to take it. Obviously, in regards to mods, you want the one with the most quality. But with strength, especially now that we don't have a ton of mods, we need the best defense. So for example, we just got a level 2 mask. That's already better. Look at that. All, that's actually exactly the same as the current mask we have. The current mask we have is level 2 scrap. That doesn't make sense. They're basically the same. I could have sworn I had purple stuff already. Unless I had purple stuff. I started getting purple stuff before I accidentally reset the world. But yeah, I'm just going to go and make as much space as possible, guys. I'm going to make sure I have the best armor on. Uh, scrap all the guns. And then I'll see you guys next time. Next time, we have to either go do this quest. I wonder if I shouldn't go do this quest and then explore the town a bit. Then we might be able to make ourselves a horde base with all our wet concrete. We have 451 wet concrete. We'll be able to make ourselves a proper, proper base, I think. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.